Hi everybody, welcome back. This time I'm building the Revell Ford Bronco kit. These are the parts that are included. I've got them all washed up and ready to go. These are the pictures I'm using for my inspiration. It's based on a Bronco that was used at my father's uh, Esso station. Of course, this was back in the 70s. Well, I've been working on this Bronco kit for about a week now, and uh, I've, unfortunately I've forgotten to take pictures. So this is where I'm at now. I've got the body parts and the interior parts um, taped and masked off ready for priming. I plan on priming those with the Rust-Oleum 2X white primer. And uh, over here I've got the chassis all put together. That was the first thing I did, is uh, glued as many parts on the chassis as I could. And then uh, sprayed flat black paint over everything. And then detail painted the shocks and the mufflers, steering linkages and so on. I've got the uh, bottom of the interior in flat black primer. Um, got the wheel backs done in the... Uh, Steinel Res um, sort of rust looking primer. I've got the uh, air filter painted the Ford blue and the uh, white trim on the wheels. Axles and uh, drive shafts painted in flat black. I've got the transfer case painted uh, white primer with uh, silver over it to look like aluminum. And the engines all put together and painted. Detail painted. And uh, here are the tires. I've got the tires sanded on the edges. Give them a little bit of a worn look. So there's a few more. The roll bar and the steering wheel and so forth uh, to finish up once I get the interior done. Uh, once I get the primer on, then I'll apply the paint and start uh, the final assembly. Well, I've made more progress on the Bronco. We've got the interior ready to go in. The seats are in, the roll bar, shift lever got the floor painted it's all ready to go got the uh, spare tire cover painted the rubber black on the tire and the inside under grill is painted up here got the lights in got the top ready with the windows in and the uh, black around the windows for the rubber gaskets got a rolling chassis the tires went on nicely nice and easy they just pushed in place and uh, they roll nicely. Do a little bit of weathering on the bottom. And the body's in paint, so it'll be coming along next. I stripped the chrome off the grill so I could paint it white. I used the plastic tube center of a cotton swab and stretched it with a couple of toothpicks, painted it black and then covered it with a liquid chrome Molotow marker to make a chrome uh, exhaust extension. I used the Aztec acrylic opaque red for the body color. I used a small micro brush dipped in the paint to trim around the side windows. And of course I added personalized license plates. I found a Ford Bronco logo online and printed it on a piece of paper and attached it to the spare tire carrier with Mod Podge. I've got the Bronco build pretty much completed. I just have to glue the side mirror on here. Uh, everything else is done. Got the engine detail painted. I didn't wire up anything uh, on this one. Didn't put any of the outside decals uh, stripes on it. 
uh, I have another plan for for this build. I'll put some pictures up at the end of this to show the final product. Here's a shot of the underneath with a bit of weathering. I did some uh, couple of light brown and some tan uh, paints brushed on, dry brushed to give it a little dusty look. I've added the uh, so, uh, scratch built chrome tips for the exhaust and uh, put the tire carrier on. I printed some ESO logos on regular paper and attached them also and coated them with Mod Podge. So this is the representation of the ESO Bronco from my father's gas station circa 1970s.